Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Mitsuko, so thank you so much for watching this video. So today is all about this lovely blush from House Labs. This is the Colifuse blush. I have it in the shade Watermelon Bliss and I've been dying to try it, okay? So let's get into it. So I picked up this blush during the Sephora sale. I ended up purchasing it with the 20% off, which I was so happy about that. You get a total of six shades, including this one. I'll put a picture on the screen for you. This retails for 49 Canadian and 38 USD. So this is what the packaging looks like. This is pretty standard for all the other products that I've tried from House Labs. You get the logo here with the information on the blush and then the name at the top here and then more information also at the back. You get a total of 11 grams, which is pretty good compared to all of the other pressed powders that I've tried. Um, the amount is pretty significant. This is what it looks like. It's a beautiful packaging. I like that House Labs has a silver packaging for this one. It's similar to their foundation cap and also their powder. So at the back, you have more information on the product. Now this is what it looks like. Beautiful packaging, beautiful shade. This shade is meant to be a bright red, which is what I was going for. I wanted something bright. So we'll see how it looks like on my skin. It was either between this one or Exhibit A, so I ended up going for this one instead. So we'll see if this is worth it. Looking at the information on the Sephora website, this is described as a clean, talc-free blush with fermented arnica that helps reduce redness and a hydrating hydroberry that melts onto the skin for a second skin finish. I'm all for it. So overall, this blush is a press powder. It will give you a natural finish. It doesn't have any shimmer, which is exactly what I was looking for. It's clean, vegan, and cruelty-free. And it also has skincare benefits like the fermented arnica, which has anti-inflammatory properties the hydroberry which is also supposed to help you with hydration and it also contains the vitamin c and vitamin e which is perfect now if you like me and you like using your blush as eyeshadow you can do it with this one i did check the label and it is not safe for the eyes unfortunately so i'm going to swatch this just to see oh it feels really soft on the skin oh my gosh I was expecting this to be a bright red on my skin. It's looking more like a bright fuchsia. Let's see what happens if I blend it. It's not bad. Okay, this is what happens when you just blend it. It is pretty pigmented. I find that once you blend it, it looks a lot more red than the initial swatch. I'll show you what I mean. See, this looks a little bit more pink, but once you blend it, it looks pretty good. So I wanna compare this blush to two other blushes that I have, one from Pat McGrath and then another one from Patrick Ta. This is Electric Boom. Now, I have the old version of the face palette from Patrick Ta, but these come in duels. So I will be comparing it to this shade. This is the House Labs. This one is the Patrick Ta, and then this is the Pat McGrath. Not really similar. I feel like they, these two are probably the closest, but this one is a lot more pink, and this one is looking a little bit more red. So my face is pretty much done. I'm just missing the blush. And if ever you want the details for this look, let me know down in the comments. Since this blush is a pressed powder, I will be using this one from MAC. This is the 129 brush. Going to... Ooh, that's a lot. I think I put too much on the brush. I'll start with this. And then I will start closer to my eyes just to see. Okay, I thought it was going to be a lot more pigmented on my cheeks, but it looks really pretty. It's definitely subtle, you can see it. Some of the blushes can look a little bit ashy or bring out the texture, but this one has a bit of a glow to it. I don't know if it's because of my base, but it looks pretty so far. It's definitely subtle. I think I can build up the intensity, just taking a little bit more. Let's see, start again. Okay, it's really pretty. Oh, this shade is really nice on me. Let's see if I can build it up a little bit more. 
beautiful. Okay, I'm also putting it on my temple, basically like my forehead too. Let's see if I can start with a little bit more right away. Yes, definitely do that. I think I probably put too much on this side, but it's okay. So this is what my face looks like after I set it and I think it looks really nice. Now I did have to tweak it a little bit because I was heavy handed and it was just way too much for me. Okay, way too much. Overall, I think this blush is great. If ever you're considering trying it, definitely go for it. At least with this shade, it looks beautiful on my skin. I love that it also has skincare benefits, which is always a plus. This blush is definitely buildable, so I would suggest to start with the light end and then build it up to wherever you're comfortable. I love that it is bright on my skin, it suits my skin tone, and it's a plus for me. So that's everything for today. Thank you so much for watching my video. Don't forget to let me know what you think about this blush and also let me know your thoughts on this format. Would you like to see more reviews done this way? And if you haven't done it already, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I would truly appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.